All right, guys, today we're doing another hired request. This one is a song by The Killers, When You Were Young, the acoustic version. And it sounds like this. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. If you've never this is the first video that you're watching of mine. I use a whiteboard to teach by ear um, songs, how to play the piano. And it works quite well uh, for many people. So this is a hired request that someone hired me to do. And I have a big list that I'm going off of. And it'll be a couple of months before I'm through the list, before I'm taking any more hired requests. But uh, the person that hired me for this one sent me a YouTube link. And that's what I'm going off of is this acoustic version off YouTube uh, by The Killers when you were young. <coughs> and this is the free part one I put on YouTube. You can get the rest of the song plus all 1,500 of my other videos on webpianoteacher.com. <coughs> that's my website, webpianoteacher.com. The easiest way to get a hold of me to uh, check out what I'm doing, what I'm up to, is on Facebook. Um, just look for webpianoteacher.com on Facebook. You'll find my fans page. I'm also on Twitter as well. My name is Web Piano Teacher on there. Alright, enough advertising. <laughs> Let's get to this. I have to do that. It is the way I make a living, so I uh, have to plug myself a little bit. Now, <clears throat> we're going to start with the right hand on an E above middle C. Alright, then we're going to go to G sharp and B after that. So the chord is an E major chord, E, G sharp, B. So you can just kind of get your hand in that position. All right, and we're going to have a lot of sharps because that's the key the song is in. So <clears throat> I like to stay as accurate as I can. So we're going to do it in this key with lots of sharps. But uh, And then we're going to go to the G sharp and B here. And then we're going to go back to E. Now we're going to do that figure two times. That's why I have a two there. So it's... Okay, and then we're going to go, we're going to keep the G sharp, but we're going to make the soprano note, the top note is C sharp. Okay, and then come back to the E, and then come back to the B. The B and G sharp, and then down to the E again. But notice the E and the G sharp remain constant on the bottom, okay? Alright, now on the left hand we have an E, and then a D sharp on the thumb. Okay? And that's going to make a major 7th chord. You hear that by itself and go, oh, is that right? It is if you hear that. It gives it that kind of jazzy sound. If we just put an E in there, it would it doesn't have the jazziness. But don't hit the D sharp too hard. We want the relative strengths of all the tones <clears throat> in our chord to, to be correct. So not too hard on the D sharp when you hit it. So you just hold that. So that first part here is Okay, then we move on to the next box. We have F sharp and A sharp. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I always have allergies. <coughs> they make me sound like I have a cold all the time. F sharp and A sharp. <coughs> down to a C sharp on the thumb, back to the F sharp and A sharp, and then to G sharp and B. And then we'll do a D sharp on the thumb, so D sharp, and then G sharp and B on the top again. We're going to hold that one just a bit, so I put the little dash there. And then we continue, but that note is held a little bit, okay? Uh, the left hand we have another 7th D sharp to middle C sharp. Okay, right there in the middle of the piano. Then we're going to go down to do this 7th, G sharp and F sharp. And they, they sound odd by themselves, but in the context of the live music, it'll sound just fine. So we play this together, then this together. Okay, so we start here again. Okay, just 
straight chords all the way through it, or straight uh, eighth notes, or sixteenths, however they, it's notated, but that rhythmic constant is all the way through. You want to kind of hit this one hard because it's a syncopated, it's off the beat, and you want to uh, accent those syncopated beats. So. Start with the D sharp again. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be a little different. It sounds a lot like this one, but the chord is different. So it's going to be F sharp and B together. Now I put a little dot here, and I have a little dot here. We'll explain what that means in lesson two. Uh, it's kind of my way, way to notate a repeat. So when you get to the website and you're on lesson two, keep in mind this board one where I put these dots because we're going to use that, all right? So F sharp and B together, then down to D sharp with a thumb, two times. One, two. <clears throat> Left hand on a B octave. All right, so we're going to do that two times. One, two. Funny, I can hear the, my kids in the <laughs> garage. We've set up our garage as a little, kind of a movie theater. Projectors are pretty cheap now as far as projectors go. And we set that up in the garage, and I set them out there with a movie, turn on the air condition uh, in the garage, and they're just set. They're watching movies and eating popcorn. You know, I had to have some time to do my videos, so I put on Rango for them, so they're watching that. I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but two times there, one, two. And that is a B major chord. All right, one, two. And then we're going to keep holding that. This this goes with this bit right here, even though I had to do a different line. Okay, so they're, they're the same box. Um, F sharp and C sharp. Back down to D sharp on the thumb. And then back to B and F sharp. And down to D sharp. So, ba, 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 ba. Neat. So, put that together. All right. <clears throat> now, move on to this last measure. Uh, so we have G sharp and B, just like the beginning. And then we go down to E. Then we go back to G sharp and B. Two times. One, two. So it's two times there. And then back to the E. And then back to the G sharp B. Hold it for a bit. And then the final E there. So it's ba, 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 while the left hand's holding the seventh, the major seventh. It's just a relaxing chord. You just, just want to relax when you hear a major seventh chord. Now, let's go all the way through it. Now, this part one here. One, two, ready, go. Alright, and of course the rest of it, there are two more boards that I chalked full of of notes, um, and it's on webpianoteacher.com right now for members. Uh, Facebook is where I am if you want to contact me, and uh, talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy it.